Hello, hello everyone. This is Marie and Mello again. How are you? Let me show you my beautiful self. How are you? There she is. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Wherever you are around the world, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, senor, senorita, madame, mademoiselle, how are you? Well, today I'm making some breakfast. So what happened, I decided to make some cabbage. It's possible I might just do the cabbage straight or in the end, I might just probably think about doing some, some uh, curried, curried cabbage, you know, for my breakfast with some flat bread. So here it is right here. I'm gonna show you. I hope you can see it real good. There it is. So I'm gonna do the cabbage right now. I'm gonna cut up the cabbage for you. I don't want a big piece, so I just cut like a quarter of one because it was a whole big cabbage. There it is. I cut a quarter before and use. Now I'm gonna do one third, you know, so I'm gonna use another one third. And this is how I do it. This is how I cut it up like that, you know? There it is. You can see, see, beautiful. I'm going to finish cut it up, and when I finish cut it up, I'll show you, and I'll get back to you. Well, I'm back again. So I finished cut up that one third of the cabbage. So you see the cabbage? I cut it in three. I used one before, and now I'm going to use another one. I love cabbage. Cabbage is good and healthy for us. And this piece, you never try to cook this piece. So we left this piece. So right now, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in this jar right here, this dish right here, and I'm going to rinse it off. I'm going to rinse it off with some um, um, baking soda, or you can do it with salt also. Some people will do it with vinegar, but I don't want any vinegar. So this I'm going to rinse off with the vinegar, and then I'm going to cut up all my onions, skeleton, and so on. And <clears throat> at the meantime, while it's there, I am going to do, I think I decided to make some, do it with a little curry. So the pot is getting hot right there. It's getting hot. And I'm going to just walk, brown down a little curry, curry into this coconut oil right here. So let it get hot before I put it on there. And I'm going to use the coconut oil to do it. And then I'll get back to you. So let me rinse this out. And if I forget to tell you, these are from my outside. These are little tomatoes. You see how beautiful they are? Look at them. Beautiful, isn't it? So I'm going to use these, some of these little tomato into my pot also when I'm browning down my onions, scallions, and all of that. Okay? So I'll get back to you. So I'm back. While I'm, while I'm waiting for the... Um, for the pot to get hot, so I can um, do the the curry. I'm gonna use the light curry and a little turmeric. That's what I'm gonna put in there. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut this up a little bit. Meanwhile, this is my red onion. You know, I have to be very careful because sometimes I'm very what you call it, dear, when it comes to my hand. I'm very careless and clumsy when it comes to my fingers. So I have the red onion, now I have the white onion, white scallion, uh, yes, onion, and I'm gonna cut these up because I'm gonna saute it down into the curry, you know? So I want it in little chunks, you know? Yes, little chunks, there it is. And while this is going on, I'm soaking my cabbage into some, um, salt water this is my you know these days i tend to forget things in the name of jesus i plead the blood of all this forgetness this is my um hey lord have mercy upon me I, i'll get back to you about this you know father help me with this forgetfulness <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's right in front of my face and I can't remember what the heck it is. What a shame. You know? Okay. I don't know.
know what's going on. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon this forgetfulness. Definitely, I don't want this, you know. Garlic, yes. So I cut up two cloves of garlics in there. So this is getting hot right now. So I'm going to do like a, just a tablespoon of this coconut oil, virgin coconut oil, you know. And I'm going to let it stay thin, just get a, a little hot so I can put in my curry and I can put some turmeric in there. And then as soon as it gets hot and do its thing. Okay, let me wipe this because I don't want it to spill. So that has to get hot first. And then I have a little piece of scotch bannock pepper here. Scotch bonnet pepper, just a small piece because this pepper is so hot. When I say hot, I mean it's very, very hot. And some of my red pepper and yellow pepper, I'm gonna, sweet pepper, I'm gonna cut some up also. And when I finish that, I'll get back to you. Okay, well I'm back, so let me put it a little bit closer so you can see the pot. And I'm gonna be putting in the curry let me say, for instance, uh, a teaspoon, yeah, uh, less than a teaspoon, because I don't want it to be too, too much. So this is what I put in there, you know, and I'm going to just let it brown, turn down the stove a little bit because I don't want it to burn up too, too much. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the turmeric in there, not much, yeah, like a quarter of a teaspoon, mm-hmm. And I'm going to burn them both. There it is. Mm -hmm. And after I do all of that, then I'm going to use all my onion, scallion, garlic, you know, whatever I have here. And I'm going to put it in there. Then I'm going to take my cabbage that is already been warming up, um, soaking into them some, some salt water. Let me put this in here because curry and turmeric and those have a way of, okay, so here it is. I'm going to put it all in there and let them saute. Uh -huh. Just for a few minutes as I'm going to put in my cabbage in there. So as I said before, I have onion, red onion, white onion, a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper, garlic. And I'm going to take some of my tomato, a couple of them. And not even going to cut them up because they're so pretty and little. You know, look at them. They're so small. So I'm going to take a couple of them and I'm going to rinse them off. And then I'm going to put them in the pot when it's almost done. Not right at this moment. So I'm going to cover this up and let it saute for a little bit. And then I'm going to rinse off my cabbage. And I'll come over with it when this saute for about two to three minutes. I'll be back. Well, 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 I am back. Isn't it beautiful? Now look at this. There it is. Whoa. This is gorgeous. So this is the, there it is. Onion, scallion, garlic, yellow pepper, and white, white onion, white red onion, whatever you call it. It's right there. So I washed off the cabbage and I don't want much water in it. So I put it in a, a sieve so this way the water can drain off. This is just enough for me and mellow, you know, because cabbage have a way of shrinking when you do it. So this is just the perfect amount for us, you know. So there it is. I'm going to leave it for a couple of minutes. I'm turning it over. Yeah, let me see if I can do it with this too. Yes. Yeah, I'm turning it over so it can get a nice pretty color all over it. Yes, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it up for say like another five to seven minutes. And when it's finished, Another five to seven minutes, I'll just throw my tomato in and put all my seasons 
like my thyme, uh, it may be a little salt and some black pepper and that should be it. Let me put my curry and my turmeric away. And I'm cooking, I still love to use a little fennel seed. So I put a little fennel seed in there too. Let me move these and then I'll put a little bit of butter and that should be it. So this is going to stay for about five to seven minutes and I'll get back to you. Well, I'm back. So the seven minutes is up almost. So now I'm going to put a little of the fennel seed. You don't have to do that. But the fennel seed is good and healthy for us. Then I'm going to put a little tad of salt, not much, you know. And this is kosher salt. Some thyme. Yeah. A little slash of thyme, not much. Some black pepper. All right, some black pepper. And you know I like my little Maggie season. I like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You don't have to complain about it, you know. I like it. And then just a little bit of, there it is, the timing is the seven minutes is up. I'm going to put a little butter. Not much. Alrighty. There it is. That should do it, Melo. Your phone is telling you that you need to check it out. Go get it, please. It's making all that noise. And I'm going to throw my few to baby tomato in there. They're washed and clean. And I'm going to leave it just for like another half a minute because I don't want it to cook down too soft. But Mel don't like, I don't like it soggy. I don't like it soggy, but Melbourne likes it soft. So I'm going to have to make it cook down a little bit more. Let me taste. Mm, okay. A little bit more. I don't want to put much salt. So I put that into it. All right. Just for like another minute or so. I put it in and then I'm going to get my flatbread. I think I'm going to take the spinach one today. And uh, Mela, you want the flatbread? Mela, you want the flatbread? No, no. You want this one? I'm okay. You know, I don't like that. I make breakfast, the board was don't tell me you're okay. Okay? I go out of the way, so please come and have your breakfast. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to use this one here, the spinach wrap, and I'm going to warm it up, and I'll get back to you. So right now, as I showed you before, I don't put these things in microwave and so on. I put it on the George Foreman grill, and this is what I do. I put it on the George Foreman grill, and I warm it up. And as soon as I think, I don't want it too crispy. As soon as I think, so this is the wrap I use. There it is. All righty. And it's garden spinach herb wrap. All right. I love it. You know. And some people keep it out of the refrigerator, but I don't. I keep it in the refrigerator, you know, and uh, let me see, I, just, I like to turn it different direction, yeah, so this way it be warm and nice, and as soon as that is done, I'm doing my tea, and while I'm saying that, let me show you something, look at this, I just bought this, and you see, this is what's been happening, then it has mold, you know, you buy the coconut, and they no good, and these coconuts are so expensive, when I say expensive, I mean very, very expensive. You know, it's a shame. You're talking about $3.75, almost $4 for that little coconut. Okay, so let me wash my hand because I touched that coconut. So I can able to do that. I don't want it to be too crispy. So 
There it is. That should, oh, this should be beautiful. Yes. There it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it while my tea's been boiled, and I'm going to show you what I do. And then I'm going to eat breakfast with you. I hope you eat breakfast with me. Okay? So it is finished. I cooked it for about eight minutes. I would have cooked it less than that. You know, but the thing is that Mello like it a little bit on the soggy side. I don't, but I will eat it because it's soft. So I put some in like that. If I want more later, I'll take some more, you know? So there it is. And all I did is like put it in like this, fold it like that, fold it like that, just like that. And you can leave it at the hitch, but I like to do it like this. Mm -hmm. And close it up. And to tell you the truth, still sometimes I love to do this too. Let me plug it back in just for a minute because it's still hot. It's going to dripple out, but I don't care because I want it to have that little niceness to it. I don't always do it like this, but I'm going to show you. All right. It's going to drip out. So let it stay. I'm going to put a little bit more of this on the side because I want to eat some of it on the side. Because this is an healthy breakfast. Yes, it is. So that right there is some mellow. So I cook just enough for both of us, you know? There it is. So I have that on the side right there. There it is with my tomato. Isn't it beautiful? You could drink that liquid, you know? So just for a few seconds, I'm doing that. And then I'm going to take it out. I'll get back to you. Okay. So there it is. Nice and pretty. The liquid comes out into this. Because I want it like that, a little crispy and nice. So that's it right there. I'm going to plug it out because I have to wash that off later on. And here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go right over to our dining table. Right there. And here it is. You know, not much. It looks like, but this is a very healthy, healthy, healthy breakfast. Mm -hmm. There it is. Very healthy breakfast. You don't want nothing better than this. No, you don't want nothing better than this. <laughs> Let me show you my beautiful self. And then I'm going to go to another video. And we can sit and heat. All right. There she is. There she is. The beautiful Maria. Mwah! How are you? For Sky. Radhika. Uh, Liliana and my other girlfriend. I can never remember your name unless if I see. So you know you all, self. Mwah. Ma, ma babuta, ma buta, you know. And you know who I'm talking. You are the Yvette, Yvette, Yvette Kichnika, whatever. You, some of this is for you all. We're going to sit and eat breakfast. So you'll see me in my next video. All right. Let me taste it first. And then you'll see me in my next video. I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you thanking you for this lovely breakfast that you have prepared for us, Father God. Bless it, Lord, and let it do the will to my body. Heavenly Father, bless those who are healthy, especially children, adults, and sickly people, Lord. If they don't have anything, give, send someone in their midst, oh, Heavenly Father. Give them food, shelter, clothes, and most of all, your word in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I'll see you in my next video, eating my breakfast. Mm-hmm. Just right. Not too salt. Almost. Mm-hmm. When I do that extra dip, I shouldn't have. I should have just left it. But that's still okay. It can heat. So I'm going to see you all. Remember, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell. If you, uh, well, if you haven't done that, so you can get all of our videos. All righty? And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Please subscribe. Over 80-something percent of you that watch me don't subscribe. You love me, so subscribe. It's free. It is no cost. Just press your hand on the subscribe button. Hit the bell. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. 
which is the notification bell, so you can get all of our videos. Let me sip my tea. Mm-hmm. Peppermint tea with no sugar. So I'll see you over in the next video, sitting down and eating and enjoying my lovely breakfast. Mela didn't want to do anything right now, so I'm not going to force him. And here's my fruits right here waiting. I'll have that for later. So remember, God loves you and so do I. Be good to yourself. And if you can't be good, be careful. Zach Discovery, fellow the boy, Otanga Jr., all of you, all of you, never answering all over, all over the world. Love you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.